Yeah, guys, we're looking at the latest radar trends. You know, this is a storm that we've seen many, many times. If you live in Connecticut, you can't even count how many times you've seen a storm where we all get around a foot of snow, some more. But it's actually been a few years since we've had one just like this here in Connecticut, going back to 2017. So I think it kind of takes a little bit of an adjustment to kind of get used to everything all over again. Winter storm warning posted for all of Connecticut. And in terms of coastal impacts. Sometimes with these nor'easters, we can see a lot of flooding. I do not see that happening with this event. There is a coastal flood advisory in effect for the shoreline of Fairfield County with some minor flooding occurring between 11 o'clock tonight and about two o'clock in the morning. Usually that's only a problem for those immediate roads along the shoreline that typically flood. And if nobody's out and about, well, nobody can really run into an issue with them. And I think they should be fine as we head into tomorrow morning. So that snow continues to fill in coming down heavy at times as we head through the next several hours or so. Now I say one to three inch per hour snowfall rates. That does not mean that all night long we've got three inches per hour. Otherwise we'd be in trouble because my snowfall totals would be too low. But at times we're going to see some very heavy snowfall and then it may lighten up and back off a little bit. Then it'll pick up again. So that's what you'll see if you're kind of looking outside your window. Also low visibility at times, especially if you're in one of those bands, some gusty winds, which I'll show you in a moment. They're really picking up out there and the chance for some mixing at the immediate shoreline in southeastern Connecticut. So don't be surprised if you hear some pinging on your windows, but most of the state just stays as a fluffy snow that'll be relatively easy to move. I mean, I say relatively because a foot of snow is still tough to move, but when it's fluffy, at least it makes it a little bit easier than the cement. The heaviest will be through about eight o'clock tomorrow morning with tough travel. I think through that time, I mean, I do think that crews are going to work throughout the night, but it may be hard to kind of keep up after all this comes down after eight o'clock in the morning. The snow continues, but it's going to gradually get lighter. And then as we head into the early afternoon, afternoon. We'll see a few lingering snow showers, but it will come to an end. And I think roads will continue to slowly improve as the crews continue to clear that snow. I've updated these snowfall totals for you. We got some new ones in. Thanks so much to everybody for sending them North Haven at five and a half inches. Hamden's up there as well. Five inches in Wallingford, four in the New Haven area and one inch so far in Torrington. Got we puppies and dogs and snow. I mean, who doesn't love this one coming to us from Middletown in East Haven 5.75 inches. We've got our ruler in the ground classic shot and this is in Danbury. This just looks like something out of a Christmas movie or a Hallmark movie, right? Here's the radar right now. Two areas where we're seeing some heavier snow and in between it's a little bit lighter. So that's what I'm talking about when I mentioned that we'll have this intermittent heavy snow. Killingly, Brooklyn, Pomfret, you guys are getting rocked right now in that heavier snow band. Willington, you guys are in it too. That extends up through Enfield. Meanwhile, Windsor, Bloomfield, Hartford, we're in a little bit of a break. Meanwhile, things are filling back in again for Southern Connecticut through North Haven, Easton, Monroe, where that snow is really starting to blossom again. Ridgefield is coming down heavy for you. So again, we're still on track for around a foot of snow or more. Again, depending on where that heavier snow sets up, there is this dry slot that will come through for a little while. But then snow is going to fill in again on the back side of the storm as it kind of pivots through New England. Temperatures right now are in the 20s, teens right now for the Torrington area. Here are those winds that I was telling you about. Look at Danbury, 43 miles per hour, 21 for Meriden. This is not damaging wind, but enough that it's blowing that snow around. And I do think that we're going to see some drifts out of this. You know, sometimes you get a storm like this and there's a big pile of snow in one part of your yard and the other part of your yard may have a lot less just depending on it blowing around. So I just wanted to go through this because we got a lot of questions. So when are we going to call this a blizzard? A blizzard is a really specific definition. You have to have consistent winds of 35 miles per hour and snow reducing visibility to a quarter mile or less for three hours or longer. I don't think that we're going to get there with this event. But at times we may see low visibility and wind gusts at 35. I don't think we're going to get there for three hours or more at this point. Now, there's also going to be a point at night if you stay up where you hear a rumble of thunder or you go, is that a plow going by or is that thunder? You might hear some thunder snow overnight tonight. So here's what that radar looks like through the overnight. Again, there may be some mixing along the immediate shoreline or southeastern Connecticut. And then after eight o'clock in the morning, 
things will significantly start to lighten up for us. Here we are at 1230. 3.30, by the afternoon, things are really starting to calm down, and you're even seeing some sunshine before the end of the day. How much snow? Again, around a foot for a lot of folks, and it could be up to a foot and a half if you get caught in some of that heavier snow banding, where there might be some mixing along the immediate shoreline and southeastern Connecticut. That may hold down total somewhat, so there may be a little bit less. Here's your seven day forecast. We are dry on your Friday, but it is cold Friday night. Lows in the single digits heading into this weekend. No weather issues, so you can run all of your errands leading up to Christmas week. Please keep your observations and your photos coming. We're going to share more with you coming up in just a few minutes.